Well, hello, and welcome to Live It Up. Uh, today's show, as always, is to embrace and empower the essence of life. And today's guest with me is Tom McCabe. Welcome to the show, Tom. Thank you very much for having me. It's so exciting to be here. How have you been? I've been great. How about you? Great. And actually, Tom helped us with the logo. So if you like the way the logo looks, uh, Tom is a uh, graphic artist, but you also own a company called Hero Techs. Hero Techs, correct. Okay. So tell us a little bit about Hero Techs. Well, Hero Techs is a uh, computer repair company uh, that's primarily based here on Long Island. Mm -hmm. And uh, after spending about 15 years working in New York City, I got tired of seeing good people lose their jobs after they did a, a tremendous amount of, uh, you know, good service to the company. So I decided to take all of that Wall Street experience that I had and bring it down to the smaller uh, businesses because primarily 52% of America's uh, gross national product, I believe, comes from small businesses. So I'm giving them Wall Street technology at Main Street costs. Now, when you started out in the industry, how did you first decide to become like a hero tech? How did that computer transition, you know, how did you become the computer lovable geek that you are? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, well, basically, I was working on Wall Street, so there was millions of dollars at stake all the time, and I was told time and time again, you're my hero. So that's where the name came from. My uh, beautiful wife, Rose, said one day, you know what, you're the hero tech. Ah, I like that. That's yep. very clever. So computers were just coming onto the scene and people had a lot of data that they needed to kind of control and maintain. And so did you help do the software and the hardware or what was your specialty? Um, you know, I didn't really have a specialty. I, I basically got involved on huge teams that were moving Wall Street trading pit floors. And uh, then I started doing some print management. And before you knew it, I was at the top of my game and I was managing teams of people and we put in, uh, you know, as uh, systems, in, I was the manager of systems and networking at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and we took care of their systems globally for them. And then basically from there, it's just sort of took off, flourished. And you like working with individuals more so than the, like the big corporate structure. Yeah, I mean, I, I like knowing that if I do something for somebody, they truly, uh, you know, they, they like what I do and they're appreciative of the work, which is a very uh, strong word that Wall Street and a lot of main street companies that have big uh, payrolls don't really appreciate. And you, when you came to me today, we were talking in the green room about three things that a home computer person faces, you know, that end user. What are some of their uh, concerns? You said, told me one was about viruses. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, primarily, the first thing is if you have an older uh, computer and you're running Windows XP, you should abandon it. Microsoft abandoned it, and so should you. There's okay. a lot of security flaws. The second uh, thing is if oh, you... Oh, Microsoft XP, you said they abandoned it because there's security flaws? So yeah, that's they, where some of the viruses were already infiltrating someone's computer? The way that the operating environment works is not conductive to security. Okay. So they came out with Vista and now Windows 7, which has a lot more security features built in. And for the people that don't know, what is the actual operating system? Is that the brain of the computer? What does that do? That's the graphical user interface that allows you to do the things that you do. So um, in the Mac world, that would be a Snow Leopard. In the PC world, that would be Windows 7. Okay. And so, and talking about viruses then. So first of all, if you have outdated software, get rid of it, upgrade yourself, and that'll help your computer run tremendously better. And keep your personal data safe. Okay. And then number two, when somebody um, sends you an email, you were saying, if if it looks weird, it probably is. Yeah, I mean, if somebody sends you a video that they say, hey, 20 years ago, I got this video of you, click here, it's really funny, you might want to call the person and see if that's actually the case, because many times it's a virus that's hidden behind there. It's called a phishing scam. Okay, and they're looking for you to put in information about yourself? No, nope, just simply clicking it uh, allows the virus to install itself, and then, self, and then it propagates to all of your contacts saying the same thing. The exact same message goes to all of your contacts saying, hey, I've got this thing and, you know, why don't you check it out? And that's personally happened to me, you know, it happens to all of us. I, I haven't clicked, you know, I'm too, <laughs> I'm too afraid to click. I'm like, if you want to show me something, call me and show me. Don't, you know, Absolutely. don't send it through that way. And what else? What, uh, what's another tip <clears> for Well, the third is to invest in your preventative maintenance, just like a car. You know, you get tune-ups on your car and, and that's to keep the car running nice and smooth and you could do the exact same thing with your computer. For $80, you know, every six months, you eliminate the potential three to $500 you know, uh, emergency repair service. And because computer techs aren't really certified, there's not like a certified computer tech certificate <laughs> that you have, um, how do you differentiate yourself between someone that's going to take somebody for $800 and not help them and, and your company? Well, there, there are some certificates. I'm a Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer, okay. which is uh, very expensive to uh, obtain and maintain. And then on top of that, there are certifications. Uh, you could be a partner with Dell or HP or what have you. So when you're dealing with a professional, you want to ask them, you know, are you a partner at Dell? Are you certified by Dell? Things of this nature. And 
what's one of those horrific things that you've been able to uh, be the superhero on? Oh, I, I get it all the time. People keep their data in the one computer and then the computer crashes and then they have 10 years worth of uh, digital pictures with their family that suddenly they realize are very valuable to them. So we pull that data off and we basically give it back to the people. So you save the data off the old <laughs> computer and fix the old computer if it can be fixed. Correct. And not just throw it out and think that it's not possible to get the data off? Absolutely. As, as long as that drive is spinning, we can handle it in-house. And even if you were to shoot it with a gun and throw it at the bottom of the Amazon jungle for 20 years, we could still get the data. It's a matter of price point and how much you're willing to spend for your data. Well, you are a hero. And I actually have an old computer. So after this, maybe you can come over. I have pictures on that computer, Tom, I think that I'd like to rescue. It's not in the bottom of the river, but, you know, come um, on over anytime. So. I'm sure that we'll be able to help you with that. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. I really and, uh, appreciate it. If you have questions for Tom, you could reach us at liveituptvshow.com and there'll be a link to Hero Text.